Good morning, everybody. Chester AP Church devotional podcast. Thanks for being with us. Romans chapter 6, beginning at verse 15. See you in a minute. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning as we get started with our day. Or if you're joining us at any time during the day, we're excited you're here and listening to Chester ARP Church devotional podcast. As we get started today, we're going to be reading from Romans chapter 6, beginning in verse 15, as uh, we think about what Paul writes to the church here in Romans chapter 6 about being alive to Christ, dead to sin, and uh, the reality of the fact that God transforms us and gives us new life in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which we receive by faith. And so we come to Romans 6 this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. What then? Are we to sin because there are because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves to the one to whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you are committed, and having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness." Now I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you were once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness, leading to sanctification. For when you are slaves to sin, you are free in regard to righteousness. But what fruit were you getting at that time from the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves to God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end to eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now this passage admittedly is a little difficult in the modern era. We don't think about slavery uh, or servitude, but we can think about it in the context of servitude in some senses because what Paul is saying here is we are indeed no longer slaves or servants to sin. In our human nature, in our natural state, we are given over to sin. We are born into sin. We live as sinners. That's the argument that Paul uses throughout the gospel. I mean, throughout the book of Romans, it's an argument that's used throughout the Bible regarding man in its natural state after Genesis chapter 3. And as a result of being sinners, we are then going to sin, and we are um, given to sin and to the power of sin, which is death, Paul would say in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And so we are given over to that, and we live lives that are based upon the reality of the nature of our lives. Our nature is sinful, and so therefore we're going to be sinners in our flesh. Our physical actions are going to reflect the condition of our heart, the condition of our nature. But when Jesus comes in, he transforms forms us. He changes us. He know, He delivers us from the power of death, the power of sin. He deliver us, delivers us from sin. He forgives us of our debt, and then he conquers death for us in his resurrection. And so as we have received new life in Jesus, as we have received uh, the gift of God's grace, the gift of forgiveness, pardon, union with Christ, we have received uh, all of those wonderful things that come along with being followers of Jesus Christ through faith. And when you receive it through faith, by grace, it is only through faith we receive it. Then we have a new nature, and that new nature is a nature that is devoted unto God, that has been transformed by God. And therefore, we can now live in ways that are righteous unto the Lord and pursue him. And so Paul uses a, 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 a analogy here talking about the fruit of our lives. I think it's a great analogy to help explain what we're talking about. When you and I are living in sin, we are committing sin. What is the fruit of that life? It is the fruit that leads to destruction. You're committing more and more sin. Maybe you, you've seen this in your life. Maybe there's some kind of sexual impurity. Maybe there's some kind of other sin in your life where you, the more you commit it, the more you do it. Um, and so, and then other aspects of your life begin to get entwined in it and your entire life the fruit that is you feel and experience the fruit of your life is tied to that sin and is affected by that sin and is ultimately you know leading to destruction uh there's conviction in your heart but when you 
aren't doing those things and you've come to Christ and you've given your heart to Jesus and you're pursuing righteousness and you're trying to live in the freedom of God to fulfill his commands on our lives. This is not that we, we don't participate and we don't follow the moral commands of God, but we are seeking to bring God glory with the way we live our lives, the better we feel about ourselves because the fruit of our lives and the fruit of the lives we are living uh, is leading to sanctification. We're becoming more like Jesus. And that's why we feel better about ourselves. That's why it feels good to help other people. It feels good to serve other people. It feels good to do the right thing because we feel better about ourselves. There's no conflict between our flesh and our spirit. And we're going to talk about that as we move into Romans chapter 7 tomorrow. But what Paul is saying is that we are free from sin. Jesus freed us so that we can then live to the glory of God. So we, we freed, we're we freed from the power of sin, and we are enabled then to have the freedom to devote ourselves to the Lord, and we've been transformed by his grace and the ministry of his spirit, and that's why we seek to bring glory to him. So we're no longer servants of sin. We're now servants of Christ because our lives, our hearts have been transformed. Our outer actions are tied to our inner natures. And once your inner nature is transformed, you can bring glory to God. That's a little bit more complicated uh, than some passages in the Bible, but it's a really helpful one. And I think it's beautiful because it talks about we're no longer slaves to sin by the grace and mercy of God. Now we live to the glory of Christ and devote ourselves to him. You guys have a great day. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Live as servants of Christ and walk in his righteousness. See you tomorrow.